Go Canada. We just won the gold last night. Are we um, recording? Yeah. Yeah. So Brian is wearing a jersey that <laughs> smells like a jock strap. Brian, come on. I do this for Canada, man. I, this is for country. No, the, what what isn't doesn't surprise me is that you didn't notice that it smells that bad. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you just buy it, Brian? No. You need to launder that and take a shower. Welcome to the podcast. We're still in this loner house because the pipes burst during the winter of 22. Um, A nice Christmas gift to us. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are. Can you believe that like it's that already happened last year? That's how long it's taken. Mm Mm-hmm. That's how long it's taken. It was last year. Was that a last year joke? Drinking a little coffee. Is it just black coffee? Yeah, you like it. I mean, I, I don't like it. Why do you get such a big coffee? Because you, you never su- finish why it. Why are you supporting um, a company that 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 gives to every evil cause in the land? Chris Palmer <laughs> thinks that honest coffee tastes like dirt. This why has do you, added sugar. Why do you have to go down to Egypt to get I, your coffee? This actually, actually, the Starbucks on Hillsboro is the nicest coffee shop in Franklin, Tennessee, and I stand by that. Yeah, the the totally. Starbucks on Hillsboro is the nicest coffee shop on Tennessee. That's Why it. wouldn't you go to Honest or Elroy to oh to drink God, coffee so that it goes to Christians? That's true. Instead of these maybe God hating pagans. I agree. I would say this every time to Chris. But yeah. Brian will buy Nike. Brian will buy. I won't. I don't buy Nike. No, I'll wear it though. If I it's buy it to me. I can guarantee you. And if I if I went to Brian's wardrobe, there's somebody giving money to bad causes. Well, even worse, Brian, because Nikes are actually like mostly made in America now. I think, but even worse, Brian buys knockoff Nikes, so you know they're made in sweatshops. Let's be honest. Sure. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. I'm I'm Bob, I, I have an H, I have an HBO Max subscription. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and those people are really doing the devil's work. Yeah, it's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, Brian, okay, think about the worst thing you do morally. Let's just get this out. HBO Max. Do you okay. have do you have uh, Netflix, Brian? No, we canceled it. Did you? Yeah. The yeah, worst yeah, thing he uses mine. We, we use Vanessa's, yeah. Oh my the goodness. worst thing we do morally? Yeah, like by omission. Like I use, I pick it with Westboro Baptist sometimes. <laughs> The worst thing, the, the, the worst I, visible thing that I probably do is wear Kanye stuff. Now that, that's not yeah. bad. Well, it's bad to a lot of people. Um, right, you have an iPhone and, a, and an i i Mac, right? You have an iPhone and a Mac. I, I'm not the one the same saying. Room. I'm not the one saying I'm supporting the M. But you can get good coffee elsewhere. I can't get a good laptop to do the work I do. It's true. Mm, it's no, true. I, if I like, but if I like Starbucks the best. But that. What do you think is a is is a lesser evil, Apple or Microsoft? Ooh. Uh, Apple. Mm. See, I wouldn't even look at it that way. I'd just say that Mac does have a better product. I don't like all the pop-ups on the Windows, and I could never go back to Microsoft. Ever. I think Apple is a is a lesser evil. I think Microsoft. I think Bill I think Gates I, tries to do more good, though. Yeah, but exactly. But the problem to hide but, all but, the evil. But it's those types of people that are actually the most evil. That's what C.S. Lewis I, argued. He said, "I believe like, it." He said, "Like the future is going to be run by these tyrants, tyrant do-gooders." Yeah. We're like, oh, I'm just trying to make the world a better place. See, yeah. cri- and Christians are a pro- are the problem. Right. right. And I'm just they trying buy to make into the world that. a better place. So we need to kill them all. Somebody sent <laughs> me somebody sent me, speaking of that, a meme and it showed Greta Van. What is it? Greta No, no, what's Greta Thunberg? Greta Thunberg. I was gonna say Greta Greta Van. Greta Thunberg as, Greta Thunder Thighs. As Gollum. Greta Van Fleet. Yeah, as, as Greta Van Fleet. No, as Gollum. And it was yeah. great. it was really funny. <laughs> oh yeah. She is she is she's about as evil as they come. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Greta Thunberg for Halloween next year. How dare you? I'll be Andrew Tate. How dare you? I'll be Andrew Tate. <laughs> okay. That's good. I like that. box. I'll be Bill Gates. You can be whoever you want. Just just take a shower and, and don't wear <laughs> a, a freshly used hockey jersey from Canada. I'm hey, clean right now. I you promise should, you it's the jersey. You should you should uh you should dress up as Chris Palmer for Halloween next year because then people will just smoke creep Hold on a from it's, fifteen feet away. Ryan is the Chris Palmer of this show today. When Lay it did, on when's me. the last time you took a shower? And be honest. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, so you didn't shower today. <laughs> I'm gonna, probably, maybe. Oh. I shower every other day. Okay. Why? Tell the people why. Because you don't. You in this keep climate your during the summer, I have to. <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, during the summer, I have to shower every day here because of the humidity. Do you use soap? I do. Shampoo. I use conditioner for my hair. Yeah. And I use soap for my body. You don't soap your hair. Not often, because you're not supposed to actually do it. 
Ask any hairdresser. Yeah, yeah, ask yeah, anybody who yeah, cares that's about. Fine, it. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah, yeah, it is true. And they say dry shampoo is really bad now. There's a in most dry shampoos. There's harmful, harmful chemicals. Yeah. Well, I mean, talking to a guy that smokes. <laughs> a, a guy that <laughs> drinks Starbucks. A guy that drinks Starbucks, and a, a guy that uh, <laughs> wears used jerseys. That wears used exactly. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I eat a lot of fast speaking food. Of, it's horrible. Speaking of, I came up with uh, Italian nicknames for all you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, Nate, since your middle name is Michael, yeah, you're Mikey Meatballs. Mikey mm, Meatballs. Mike, Mikey like Meatballs. Um, Brian, you're Tommy Coffee Cake. Tommy Coffee Cake. And That's good. Uh, Everett is Johnny Prosciutto. Johnny Prosciutto. <laughs> no, no, Johnny it's Prosciutto. Be, Johnny Prosciutto. It's got to be. I, I think it. I think it needs to be Jimmy Prosciutto because my middle Jimmy name Prosciutto. is James. Ah, that's Jimmy good. Jimmy, Jimmy Prosciutto. Jimmy Prosciutto. Tommy, like Lasagna. <laughs> Tommy Lasagna. Tommy Lasagna. Tommy Lasagna. No, no. And I have one for Gabe. What? He's Tommy Lemon Bars. Tommy Lemon. Tommy bars. Lemon Bars. <laughs> Tommy Lemon. <laughs> I like that. Our lemon bars. What about David thing? Campbell? What would David Campbell's? David oh, Campbell. Oh, we got to David Campbell would be um, Eddie. Eddie. Uh, Eddie Mozzarella. Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Parmigiano. Eddie Parmigiano. Eddie Parmigiano. You know what he texted me? Oh, I can't. I probably can't say this. He, he texted. He texted us from the lounge today, and he's having a wonderful time with Elaine on their way here. What airline is he flying? Delta. He booked it himself. I don't know. Oh, okay. Good for him. He's in the lounge. Good. Well, good for him. Good for him. He deserves to be in a lounge. What happens in the lounge stays in the lounge. That's right. That's what I always say. <laughs> <laughs> like hi. That makes us sound so much worse. Yeah, like does. there's no privacy in a lounge. It's not like that. You know, I'll be I'll be I'll be honest with you. You know, I've been flying Delta this whole time, and and I guess the customer experience at Delta is like the best. It, that American an American airline can offer in terms of like you know, notoriously, yeah, yeah. But American Airlines, low key, I think is a better airline. I hundred percent agree. And and this is why. Okay, so their 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 um their lounges are better than Delta's. Okay, so just starters. <laughs> I've never Admirals been to the Club. Admirals Club. Yeah, the Admirals Club is is better. Um, number one, number two, um. They fly like they're, they're actually they have better hubs. Their routing is so much better. Exactly, yeah. like especially Del- in the middle of America. Yes, De- their Delta's routing makes no sense, but to have a hub in Texas makes so much sense. Absolutely, central. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then um, also their base quality is really good. I flew like economy. Yeah, and it was yep. you know, I was like, oh wow, this is different yep. than Spirit. And their first class is like <laughs> half the price of Delta. <laughs> And the only difference is that you don't get a, one of like the, the TVs, one of the Delta TVs. And you know what? To be honest with you, good riddance because I have an iPad. Right. And you know what? And you know yeah, what's true. Are you going to switch? What's funny is no, I'm not going to switch. I booked a flight. He's a million miler. Yeah, it's too late. I booked a flight today, and I didn't even. I, I, I was conscious of the fact. I thought to myself, I didn't even think to look at Delta. That would have never been that way in the past. Wow. But American treated me so well during. <clears throat> Like the last couple of years, wouldn't wouldn't Delta or sorry, wouldn't American do an offer with you to respect or like to honor your yeah, million would. miles? They would to get you to switch. They would. You're yeah, right. You should look at it, dude. I, I probably should. I would, and I should, and you may, but I can't, so I won't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought maybe we could start today by uh, with just a meme, a good old fashioned meme review. What yeah, do you guys think? Let's do it. Let's right. do a good old yeah. fashioned meme review. Yeah, let's do it. Gabe had a really get a fashion meme review. I muted the the meme chat. Did you? Yeah. Oh, because it's just just too it's much. It's too much. I and I don't want to be out of it, but I don't want to be a downer. Yeah, same. Yeah. I mean, the I'm, meme I'm chat. Saying, but yeah. The meme chat is uh, a lot of dark memes come through there that would never get posted. Yeah, that's kind of the, the whole idea. I was. Should we? Should we vote on? Should Austin Molt be in that chat? Austin Molt should absolutely be in that chat. In fact, it's going to get now. darker. Adam, now. It gets darker, darker before it gets brighter. Um, yeah, we have a thousand memes chat. It's pretty intense. There's some some people that you've never even heard of that are in that meme chat. It's it gets a little wild. Uh, what do we have? <laughs> oh, this. Okay, wait. So, so we got um, yeah, the, the, Chad. Why? Hey, Brad. It's so weird. It doesn't show you how many likes something gets. Oh, it's because you're a Canadian phone. Well, it's not a Canadian phone. It's a Canadian-made Instagram account. Right, exactly. I don't know how to change it. Yeah. Uh, how the heck do you become a philosophical? Yeah, that's good. 
I'm persecuted was good. Senior, yeah, that was good. I like this one. Yeah, ten reasons why every Christian movies, Christian are, movies amazing. are amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Th- um, that are none. I think Nate's comment won that one. There though. was only nine. There was only nine. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Number seven is right on the money. <laughs> Chuck Lupin. <laughs> yes, Chuck. <laughs> Gabe Little. The worst Christmas special was a flicker of hope. Yes. Oh, Thanks, Gabe. Oh, Gabe, you ledge. What's this? Barn Sweetman. Does this is the end count? <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see um ooh, christian movies are just as good as hollywood movies just without the budget actors writers directors producers creativity and talent quinn the bearded that's good hmm. tree of life silence andre rublev or debt passion of joan of arc a Hidden Life, The Mission, First Reformed, Diary of a Country Priest, Ben-Hur, The Gospel According to St. Matthew, Seventh Seal, Winter Light, just to name a few. Okay, thanks, Jackson Stewart, but wasn't really the point we are trying to make there, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call a Christian movie, Everett, that one time? What? Are, what? You call the Christian movie, or you call the movie Christian in the guide? What movie was that? Oh, yeah, Zach Sopak says, this is why At the Movies series always features a secular movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's true Christine DeMarco definitely scrolled to the last side last slide so did I yeah same I, I just went had all the to. way through had to make sure Felicia Peace it's reason number three for me mm. yeah that was a good one yep um <laughs> yeah I mean yeah okay so I like that was like that was that that went off. That was really good. This one um that was Gabriel by the way. Oh, I thought that when the pastor at church announces a 21 day Daniel diet and then the guy it's a picture of this Vietnamese kid and his name's Dam Son. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, and his 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 face looks like Dam Son. Dam Son. Dam Son. Yeah. And surprisingly nobody you know, I was expecting people to to push back on that. No. But people, it, it was it was harmless. Uh, my name is less less vegetables. Jay McInnes. <laughs> Diet is Gwen Shamblin, the pastor. Jesse M. Hopkins. <laughs> this one here, uh, people at. Yeah, I saw it, bro. It was insane. This one here says people at church, and then it shows what's that guy's name? Post Malone, and it says athlete guest speaker who played twenty five years ago and rolled the pine. Yeah. Line. <laughs> Joshua Marsh had a really funny comment. He said, I average one knee surgery, three tackles a year for a small fee of seven whey protein drinks in my motel's mini fridge. I'll speak out of Philippians 4.13 and cuss once. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I am Landon McDonald. I am good at sports. Therefore, I am good at God. <laughs> <laughs> invite a friend next, Scott Bowen, invite a, invite a friend next week to hear this former gospel artist who opened for names like the Newsboys, Casting Crowns, and Third Day. Oh, man, that's good. At this moment, Daryl Strawberry unfiled the few memes. <laughs> but he was actually a good player, Daryl Strawberry. Yeah, Daryl Strawberry was pretty good. He had a hard time, but he was good. Not Yeah, Jonathan Laurie, not Daryl Strawberry. That man is a national treasure. So good. There was a funny meme I saw yesterday. It was about Tom Brady. Oh, I've got a good meme to show you guys. It showed him on Nicolas Cage's body, and it says, when you make the playoffs when you're 8-8, eight and eight, and he says, I will steal the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm going to steal hey, the let me Super share, Bowl. Let me share a meme with Everett so he can play it. Mime. It's mime. It's meme. Hi. I'm the problem. It's meme. Actually, no. We can just show this. It's meme. Did you guys see this? Hi. Eat less, move more. Doesn't actually work for weight loss, according to a new study. <laughs> And that's that a is, meme in itself. Oh, is it yeah, real? Like, yeah, it's from that's a real article. Yeah, and it's from um, it's from eating well, uh, like literally a. The article's three weeks old. Yeah, it's the science. Oh, wow, that's the new science. The science, you guys. The new science is so politically correct. <laughs> Every doctor will be like, "Okay, okay, so you're, how many calories are you eating a day? Ten thousand? Okay, let's get that down to three thousand, and then I want you to just take a walk every day." You know, it's like no, that's Wait, a no, that West, that's that a Western help. way of knowing. It's a Western way of knowing. What Thank do you, you guys think about movies that have a fourth to the series? Is a, is a fourth edition bad? How the heck did you become such a philosopher force? Philosophical, yeah, philosophical force. God's not dead. 
for movie collection. <laughs> I think it. I think it depends on the on the movie collection. Like Harry Potter, yes. Well, Has yeah. there ever been a should good? have should have had a like. It's good that it had a fourth. God God's Father. not dead. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have had a first. So yeah. probably not a fourth. <laughs> Beverly Hills Chihuahua definitely needs four movies. <laughs> uh, did you ever watch Beverly Hills Chihuahua? No. Neither did I. No, but I like saw that there was a Beverly Hills Chihuahua three, and I was like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Sharknado. I watched Sharknado. All I think three? I, no, I, I I watched Sharknado with you. Rocky. Oh, that's right. The fourth was good. The fifth was bad. The fourth was good. The fifth was terrible. And the What's sixth? the best oh. fourth movie? Lethal oh, Weapon Oh, Star 4. Wars. Star Wars. Lethal Weapon 4 was good. Four would have been amazing for Star Wars, right? Yep. Because it was like the first new era one. Yep. yep. Star Wars I mean, has four. It has more than four. Yeah, you know yeah, what? I, like, my yeah. brother's a big movie buff. He told me they're making Beverly Hills Cop 4. Beverly Hills Cop? Oh, yes. With uh, yeah, Eddie he's, Murphy. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yep. I'll go see that. Um, and then RoboCop 4. RoboCop 4. I didn't really like the new Avatar. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. Okay, don't, don't spoil it. What it was didn't, wrong with it? It didn't, it didn't feel... Okay, it didn't feel like a, what, three and a half hour movie, which like, kudos to you. But there were parts in the story that's just like, this is not, this is not believable. It was just poorly written, I think. I think like, none of the characters were super likable for me. Mm. Um... Yeah, and I think I think the script was just a bit a bit cheese. Did you like number one better? Yeah, I think number one had had more of a wow factor, and number two was kind of just more of the same thing for me. I don't mind people's political messaging at times, as long as the movie is like awesome. You know what I mean? Like white man bad, native good. You know, like okay, you know, like whatever. Um, but just make sure that people die. Yeah, like make it realistic. Glad yeah. I watched it once. Got to be explosions. It's good to watch once. I'll probably never watch it again. Hmm. Right. Yeah. But go watch it. I'm gonna go check it out. There, yeah. there are no good movies in the theater right now. No, I, I'm sorry, dude. But there's we are living in the worst time. Thank of, you of history. I know. Of Thank you, yep. dude. Ever. There were so many times because that that week between Christmas. And New Year's Eve, all I want to do is go to the theater every day. Yep. And I kept checking, kept checking. There's nothing in the theater. There's no good movies the, coming out. The problem right now with theater, I mean, Chris, I'm going to let you go next, yep. but the problem with film and TV at the moment is that everybody is so terrified to say anything, yeah. to take a stand for anything, yep. to, you know, to, 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 to meme anything. Like, they're afraid to, you know, and everything has to be the most morally ambiguous yep. thing ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so 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 you can't yeah. nobody can make even your bad guys can't be too bad. Right. You know what I mean? Like they right. can't make fun of like they, they can't go all the all the way. Like for example, like yeah. the bad guys, for example, in casino, you know, like um Tommy. You know, exactly Tommy Tony Lasagna. Like like uh, who who was the director of Nikki, all those films? Uh, the guy in uh, the casino's name was Nikki. What was his name? Nikki. Yeah. Um, the, the one that uh, that Pesci plays. Yeah. But but the bottom line is like Pesci is like he's a racist and he's a misogynist and he's a no good lion cheater and a gangster and he kills people and like he cheats, you know, with Ace's wife and like bottom line is like there's Scorsese. The, the Scorsese exactly like the the bad guys are bad. Yeah. You know, like. And they don't. They don't just like make politically incorrect statements and don't believe the right politics. You know what I mean? They're like, real bad. Yeah, they're yeah. real bad. I think like part of the the um, the, the charm of Yellowstone was the, is that like the bad people are bad. But part of my problem with Yellowstone is also that like it's morally ambiguous. The good guys are bad, and it's sort of film noir at that point, which I don't mind film noir. But it's like it doesn't really. They don't stand for anything. Nobody stands for anything in Yellowstone. Yeah, they do. What yeah, they, they stand. For? They stand for preservation. Exactly, but That's, not even. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I need to watch that. Like they just make fun of each other in in virtue signal about what kind of preservation is better. You know, but it's like there's no, there's no. Uh, it's just it, it's you know everybody has problems. Everybody's good. Everybody's bad. It's like. Well, that's not really what life is like. Life is a bit more new. It, life is nuanced. There is nuance, but there are some people that are just worse than others. Right. Yeah. You know, and there's nobody that's really worse than anybody. Speaking of which, in anything. Speaking of media, I wanted to ask this question. I think it's a good transition at this point. What account, what Instagram account, media wise, 
Are you it was good, but now it's trash. Like, are you this the close to university? Uh, yeah. Are you this close to falling? <laughs> and I, I'm gonna say it like this: I am this close. I almost pressed the button last night of unfollowing Barstool Sports. Yeah. Really? Their content is trash, man. Yeah, it's gotten pretty trashy. It's not even sports. That's become. Oh, it's it's always talking about 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 porn, porn stars. Yeah. yeah. Porn ladies. Thanks, Glenny Balls. It's totally. It, it, and it, or. Just it's not yeah. stuff I'm not interested in anymore. You know, it's yeah. Just, like the, the whole. If you look at the comments now, it's all comments about like they're they're parodying like if this was a sports post, what people would say. Yeah, and I think yeah. like, for example, the Danny chick that is is funny. What's her name? Danny Jackal. Danny Jackal. She has got some good bits, but she shouldn't be so featured. Yeah, it's just got to be page. It's got to be spattered. She in. Should, like her best thing should like hit the page and then be gone. Do you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. And it should be built around what it was built around before, which was yeah. sports. And there's one thing. Yeah. And there's one thing keeping me on it. One guy, KF, uh, uh, Caleb Presley. Caleb, Caleb Presley. Caleb Presley is. He can have his own spinoff, and I'd follow him. I would yeah. move away from Barstool. Yeah. Caleb yeah. Presley is Caleb Presley is a star. Yep. He is. And I think David Port, Dave Portnoy is, you know, an interesting cat. Interesting. But everybody else is just they're they're sub auxiliary. They're growing though, so they, I think it's conscious. They know that it's trash, and they know they've gone off the rails. Of course, but it's for yeah. a reason. It's become a tabloid, but tabloids sell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm sure. Yeah, it pays. It 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 pays the bills. Okay. And it affords them to be able to do the stuff that they actually want to do. I'll give yeah. you. An, I'll give you another account. The one um, history memes. I think you followed it because I see you like the history, uh, inside history, not inside history, history and meme, a history in a minute, something like that. This account was great because it would always show posts for, of history. Was it history, history and pictures or whatever? Yeah, it's something like yeah. that. And the account has like 2 million followers. And I love the history posts. And then I noticed that it became not history maybe for the last 20 years. And oh. then all of a sudden I saw it go into these ads advertising other accounts. Uber facts. I used to follow them. Yeah. I unfollowed them. It got political yeah, and it, it got, got woke. woke and, and yeah. I think it's history and pictures, Everett. Yeah. What are some of your favorite accounts to follow? What are some like 2023 gotta follow? Okay. Oh, um. Oh, Grill Guy. Do you guys follow Grill Guy? Hold on, I got a new song. No. Do follow 2023. Do follow 2023. Okay. Mm -hmm. Frederick, put, so, put some track behind that. Um, yeah, I think, uh, probably my top two accounts, like my binge accounts that I'll just scroll through, yeah. uh, is nature is metal. Yeah. I love that account. You told me about that. One. That's good. Love that account. And, uh, Devin Palmer. Yeah. I like Devin Palmer. I like Devin Palmer. Who's Devin Palmer. I probably have Shut it saved. I like boy, uh, boy howdy. I haven't seen that. Boy howdy is my absolute favorite account. I also like um, status. Stat, is it st statistico? Statista. 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 Yeah. Statista. I like Statista. Yeah. Um, that's pretty fun. Obviously, it's highly skewed. They're incredibly leftoids. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh, I used to like this guy. What? I think my. Which one's that? The Devin, is Bluetooth up? That Devin Palmer. Oh. Yeah. Devon Palmer. Devon Palmer. Palmer. Palmer, you say. Yeah, Devon Palmer. Devon my, Palmer. My favorite account on Instagram. If it's a white guy, you're like, it's Devin. Devin. Yeah. Right? If it's a black guy, it's like, it's Devon. My Set of respect. My favorite, my favorite Instagram account has been my favorite for a long time. It's Emotional Club. Emotional Club? It's all memes for just dark, depressed memes. And this meme right here is one of my favorites ever. It shows a little duck, and he's got this worried look on his face, and he's like, again? And the sun's popping up with a smile, and it's like, again. <laughs> Oh yeah, Emotional Club is good. They don't post enough. <laughs> they don't post enough. It's no. so true. Which is pretty on point. Can I have the chicken parmesan? Okay, and that comes with either a soup, salad, or a hug. Uh, I'll do the sa salad. Okay, that's fine. What do, what do you mean, that's fine? I'm just saying, that's cool with me. Why wouldn't it be? I just don't want you to feel bad for picking the salad. Why would I? Okay, and for you? Uh... I'm going to do the chicken Alfredo. Sure. And that also comes with a soup, a salad, or a hug. Uh, I'll, I'll do the salad, too. Oh, actually, that one comes with two sides. <laughs> I guess I'll do the soup. 
Ben. That's okay. If you want me to pick the hug, I will. I don't care what you do with your life. I don't know you. <laughs> Soup's good, then. Yeah, it is. Can I have the chicken <laughs> good. He's got some good skits. They've always got a good twist. I think he's he's probably has less... He probably has a less like laugh out loud skits than like PD USA does, but but it'll give you a smile. But Where's hit PD for hit, I think I think he's more on the money because sometimes PD USA is like off of it. Or honestly, what's freaking annoying about PD USA is he's is he's always just advertising his music and his music sucks. Well, he goes exa- I wish I wish his music was good, dude. I know. It's I want horrible. to love his music. He needs to, he needs to stop screaming in his song. It's true. He needs to stop screaming. Yeah. What app do you absolutely have to have in 2023? I'll go first. Twitter. Twitter. Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. The reason why you have to have Twitter in 2023 is because they're saying stuff on there that absolutely nobody's saying. It is it is the most like it's wild. It's it's the most free form Wild West like app that there that exists right now. The Twitter files. Like what is Elon Musk up to? Like I feel like Twitter is like there's information on Twitter I can't get. Elsewhere on Instagram, yeah, yeah, or Google. Yeah. yeah. Now, I, the one thing that the downside about Twitter is that it's like there's always like guys that are 22 telling you their like daily regimen and how they're going to be a millionaire by the time they're 30. Like, <laughs> no, that's the worst. I'm 22 years old, and here's all of my goals. Uh, thank you for following my thread. Can you please follow me? It's just like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people that ha- that are, that have not really shouldn't be saying anything that have a lot to say on Twitter. <laughs> right. A plug, um, a plug here. I actually was in the Theo Seminary app the other day, and I really was enjoying it. Dr. We have even... twenty twenty three. Um, it's we haven't even announced the app yet as a feature. Oh, but so we have a Theo app. Seminary app now. It's really good. Do we oh, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You take your whole school in your phone. Honestly, my can't live without app for twenty twenty three oh. is uh, Fish Brain. What's, What's that? that? Uh, it. <laughs> It's it's kind of like Instagram, but for fishing. So oh people document. Cut, uh, his, cut his mic off now. People document their catches and like where they catch them. So you can go on a map and it'll tell you like areas and how many catches they have. I and it'll tell you what yoked. they caught. I support and this. And I like, support this. The, the least outdoorsy person ever. And the bait that they use. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty sweet. And it'll like it has a lot of information on it. It's pretty dope. I can't. Um, I that's, so, not, sick, that's not dope. Don't call fishing dope. Yeah. So I basically, yeah. I just, o- I just ocean like, fishing is dope. Lake, pond, I, dude. River fishing that is for. We won't take this from you. No, that's you will. You will take it from me. I'm <laughs> no, a Canadian. Nate, I hold a no, Canadian Nate, card. When was <laughs> Nate? When was the last time you did something dope? Huh? Yeah. Or went uh, outside. I go outside every day. <laughs> <laughs> from his house to, to his, his car. car. <laughs> no, I like outdoor stuff. I, sh- I go no, shooting. No, don't say that. That's not but outdoors. Camping is stupid, and so is fishing. Sorry. Dude, sorry. You're going to lose this battle. Camping is so... You're outnumbered here, too. Do you camp? I fish a lot. He fishes, baby. You fish? I love fishing. See, I think ocean yeah, I fishing, fishing is pretty dope because I like ocean fish. They taste good. There's nothing like getting a bass on your line, though. And you see oh, yeah. the bucket mouth pops up out of the water. Yep. What do you do with it? Yep. It's the fight. Dude, there's nothing like the feeling of a fish on a hook. Yeah, oh my it's, God. Yeah, God. yeah, it's amazing. It's, ever, it's, I don't even fish, and no, I love it. Man, when I will play Fortnite over, over, over freshwater fishing any day can of I, my life. Okay, okay, it's because there's a struggle. Fortnite, we can win, and we're winning a ton right now, and it feels great. It's because we play bot lobbies, and I'm here for them. No, we don't. We play with Frankie, <laughs> who has a zero rating. But no, dude, there's a, you struggle for fishing, and sometimes you won't catch one in a day. And you're like, dang, this sucks, but you got to get up the next day and try again. And the reward when you get one, man. Yeah. I'll do, yeah. Ocean, if, if I can catch a tuna, if a tuna is a possibility, then I'm in. But if a tuna is not a possibility, I'm out. I just, I can't, I also can't ever imagine, yeah, I can't imagine Nate reeling a tuna into a boat. Yeah. That thing's going to reel you in. Because yeah. your imagination is so limited. <laughs> <laughs> you don't live in imagination land like I do. <laughs> There I, we are. Yeah. So I follow an Ephesians 320 God. Oh. oh. Yeah, which says My Jesus. I love him. I love that. My, my Jesus. Yeah. You know what my Jesus means? What? My interpretation. What? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. My Bible says that yeah. means my, my, my interpretation, interpretation is. Yeah. Last time I checked. 
It's my, my Jesus. When my Jesus tells me. Nay, I think I think I feel like you're you're just like you're a little you're a bit of a busybody. Like if you're if you're not if you're not doing something, mm-hmm. like you still have to be engaged. Like, He's like, like, it's restless. Yeah, yeah. I gotta so, answer yeah, my pants. Yeah, like fishing would definitely not be your thing because you just like you, you, s- wait. you sit there. But that's like definitely my thing. I love that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not shocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, dude, it's. I like it too, though. I like. Yeah, like, when's like the last Fortnite? time you went fishing? A uh, few month, a uh, month ago. Yeah. Where? Canada. Kill bear. Yeah, month and a half. Sucks. Yeah, like even, I think even the other reason thing. Nate doesn't like the outdoors is because he. It means that we're not available. To I him. like I like the outdoors. <laughs> I just no, no, don't no. like camping. Yeah, you don't like it because you don't like that we're camping and we're not with you, which I understand. No, no, that's but, not, and that's we not can't true. play Fortnite with you. But like you we, don't I, like, like like you wouldn't. But even if it's not camping, like you wouldn't like going off the grid. Like you wouldn't. You probably wouldn't like just getting a cabin. Because you have to like talk to the guys so. when you wake up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to talk to some smelly losers. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting no i just but i just like i <laughs> this is good it's 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 more it's more relaxing for me when i can just like let my brain wander so even if i'm just sitting and playing Fortnite, mm-hmm. that's not like that's not relaxing that's not fun for me that's fair it's fun I'd, 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 I'd rather sit i'd rather outside. golf yeah i like golfing too yeah i like golfing too you got me there. But the best rounds are golfs with okay. golfing without like so phones my, so, out. So your yeah, so your true. your your oh, this is the difference. So your your camping is my beaching. But I love beaching too. Yeah. I'm obsessed with beaching. I don't I like, know, yeah. but Nate, I'm with you on the camping. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like camping. If I'm gonna do nothing and, and like turn off my phone. You wanna be hot it? in the sun? Yeah, I, I wanna be on a beach. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna be I wanna yeah. Well, but dude, I live in Franklin now. I can't have that. Yes, you can. Drive down to my house. Well, exactly. Seven hours. Yeah. So we're going to do that as much as we can. You'll do it. You'll, I'll bet you you'll be doing more beaching living in Franklin than you were in the desert. No, nah, that's not possible. We went every every other weekend. Remember? We went Bro, to OC. I reckon you went once a month. But Okay, but beaching also sitting by the pool. I sat oh. by the pool every single day. Also, also the beach, like the California beach sucks. It's it, awful. Yeah, it's tough to it's get awful. in. Awful. Yeah. All right. Speaking of that, what is the one memory from Palm Desert you miss the most? The one be specific. Yeah, waking up in Palm Desert. Yeah, I I went out in my underwear every single morning. Red, drank a tea. You wake and sat up. The sun. You look at the mountains. The sky is blue every oh God. day. Every single day. And the only thing that you ever got annoyed about was how windy it got in one month. Yeah. In the spring. Yeah. You know, you know April, what, May. You know it was great. Uh, in the fall. In Palm Desert was Sundays. Sundays. Oh yeah, and dude, yeah. sitting outside watching TV. Brian, Brian. Oh yeah, Brian's house had a vibe on Sundays. Yeah, it did. Desert. It did. Eating in and out, really. Getting did. in and out on Sundays. Yeah, the barbecue. Brian would say he's having yeah. people over on Sundays. I was there. Yeah, that was always good vibe. Brian doesn't have people over anymore. <laughs> yeah, where am I going to put you? It's true. In your house. Yeah, then you have to like look at each other and talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, Nate. I don't want to talk to those smelly losers. <laughs> No, we are definitely trying to figure out what to do with ourselves here. Yeah, it but it's there's so much. You guys feel we, that way? We yeah, we want to get a hot tub or something. We're really missing that. Dang, I feel like there's so much. There's always something to do here. I like think for I would, single people or like dating people, it's perfect. Not that I'm saying you're dating or not dating or single or not single. I wouldn't go there. Right, right. Hypothetically, yeah. If I was in or out of a relationship, but I could be neither in nor out of a relationship, but just floating nebulous. <laughs> when in I'm a in, when I'm in, well, I'll be honest. With you, when I'm in Franklin, I'm just catching my breath in between like plane rides. You know Fair. what I mean? Like I'm Fair. like, yeah. so I'm happy to like not really do anything. Like just right. go to Bishops and you know eat eat chicken. Dude, there's way there's way better food here than there was in the desert. That the I only agree thing, with. The, the the only good food in the desert was Mexican, and it was the best Mexican. It the was. best. Mexican. You haven't been to Tito's then. Tito's no, is pretty good. No, oh, we no, went. Oh, dude, Tito's Tito's Oscars doesn't. Is, Oscars is the best. Where's Oscars? Tito, Here. I Here? I think haven't been. Oscars is good. The West Haven Oscars is good. Yeah, the West like Haven Tito's? Oscars is good. I like Tito's. It does. It's not as good as as anything in the desert though. The West Haven Oscars. I'll tell you right now. There, that to me was. Is this better. Nashville? That was better than. No, oh, no, in West Haven. In West Haven. Where's the, West Haven? The Oscars it's there. Just like on your way to Leapers Fork, bro. Those people, oh. those people are Mexican. Yeah. 
it is Mexicans that are making your food. And as far as I was concerned, it was as good as anything that we got in the desert. You know what's you know what's that's, actually that's strong words. Dude, oh, you know what I know. You know what's insane though? Actually, the best the best Mexican food I've had in the United States yeah. is in Yakima, Washington. Because there's more Mexicans in Yakima than there are in Palm Desert. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I know that. Yeah. Well, Washington State's like there's no so there's full of them. The best pho that I've had in America was in Palm Desert. There was a pho spot off of Washington and yeah. I just yeah, I don't I don't I don't miss I don't miss basically having nothing to do ever other than golf. But it's funny because I miss I, golfing so much. I understand that for yeah. you actually. So you're yeah, so so you have a friend who lives here and you get to hang out with your friend here and you didn't have a friend that lived in the desert. That's true. Whereas we didn't. We're trying to get away from our friends. No, yeah. I'm kidding. So, yeah, it's a very different. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. No, that's that, that's fair. But I still do feel like there's more there's more to do here. No, like, I think you're right. Except or like golf. like even Except golf. Even like I I go into Nashville like once a week. I never I never went anywhere when I lived in the desert. There, in the desert, there was a lot of Christians near at least my house in the desert. Christians? Yeah. Every time I would go somewhere to sit down, there was a Bible study going on in Palm Desert. I, I'm telling you, man. Especially oh, some of those coffee shops. Yeah, Panera, whatever. Yeah, they were deconstructing the Bible, but they were reading it. No, to each his own. They burned it after, but they were reading it. That's true. <laughs> yeah, Franklin. Look, Franklin's. I nice. um. I, I love. I it. went. Did I? Uh, have I told this story on the podcast about when I went to IW Coffee? No, tell. And it. Riverside. So Riverside, the county, um, wasn't enforcing masks. I, yeah, I um, this. So I went into this coffee shop and they were like, you need to wear a mask in this coffee shop. And I was like, okay, I don't have one. So they're like, okay, next time you come in, you got to wear a mask. So next time I go in and it's like, it's like typical, like this girl's like got her head, head buzzed, you know, dyed lime green. She's got piercings all over her face and everything. Um, and she's got like the rainbow. Caesar. Got, yeah. Caesar. Yeah. yeah. Um, so next time I come in, I I wear my American flag mask and she like literally looks at me like I kid you not she looks at my mask she goes thanks for wearing a mask I'm like <laughs> yeah no problem and so I just went about my order she was giving me all this attitude and she's like oh, she was like will this be for here or to go and I was like it'll be to go she's like yeah it's probably better that way <laughs> <laughs> oh actually i think i know exactly who you're talking about iw on cook yes yeah yep they had the pink lids on their coffee yep what does that mean i have no idea i just oh. i remember they had the pink lids that place is awful their coffee was awful I, yeah and i don't, I don't drink it. coffee so i wouldn't know they didn't have wi-fi i did love the view it's the one that's right across from the jw right but it's the best there's view one, ever there's, yeah. One, yeah. There, yeah, there's, yeah. there's one in indian wells as well yeah the indian one in indian wells was better yeah all right, next segment. Okay, um, I had a, I had a CCC quick. If you guys wanted to see something, I I DM'd it to you. Yeah, sure. Sh- okay. Show us. Show me now, Lord. And guys, we're gonna wrap in about uh, a few minutes here, and then we're gonna head to the post show, and we've got some juicy stuff. Where, are we, where are we doing bones? Because I got a I got a really big bone to pick today. Okay, we can do. Well, let's just watch this uh, CCC. Then there's bone to pick. Yeah, let's be honest with Piak. I remember when, I remember, I remember when Jesus died. He was crucified on the cross. He died on a Friday, then he rose again on Sunday. <laughs> what is going on with her eyes, too? Is that, is that, is that? Is that, was, that, that was flatter than a, than a maple, than a, than a, than a pancake festival. <laughs> <laughs> at a maple syrup festival. Yeah. That was that was flatter than the Elmira Sugar Bush Festival. <laughs> that was flatter than the state of Indiana. I, I, I see yeah. that and think that we need a, a real renaissance in education, don't we? Christian education. I remember when. Well, I guess she was right, right? Or did he die on a Friday? Yeah, he died on well, a Friday. I don't know. I mean, I've heard <laughs> conflicting reports. I've heard that Jesus died on a Wednesday night. And the reason why is because that year, um, the Passover was on that on that Wednesday. But it, it, be it Wednesday or Friday, she doesn't remember because she wasn't there. Yep. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, oh Saturday. My. If he died on a Wednesday night, he would have been dead. He would have been in the grave for th- Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days. Rose Sunday? And Rose Sunday morning. Oh, so like three full days. Yeah. 
So little little trivia. I mean, I don't know. Okay. What do you think, Chris? Thursday or f- Wednesday, Thursday or I've Friday? Heard, you know, I've heard both. I just know he rose on a Sunday. Right. Yep. Yeah. And does it matter? It matters when he when he rose for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I'll take that. Anyways. Yeah. Bones pick? Yeah, bones pick. Bones to pick. Okay, Chris yeah, has I'm got a Chris? I'm starting. I am starting. He's give us your one. give us your bone. It's between people who talk really loud on their phones in public places, but I'm not gonna pick that bone today. I'm gonna pick and say websites when you have to accept the cookies. I don't oh, even go yeah. on websites anymore. Because there's every website you go on. <laughs> I don't even go on websites there are anymore. Ads, <laughs> there are side conversation. If you're reading an article, there's like five ads in between. The little thing is small, you gotta click it. And then it's like accept cookies. I, I wish there was a setting where you could just accept every cookie. Give me all the cookies. I am Santa. I want the cookies. <laughs> and, and just be done monster. because you go into a website and it's like, do you want to accept the cookies? Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. It has to lo- I, I just can't take going on websites anymore. Yeah. There's a couple that I have to go to regularly for my job. Mm-hmm. And I have to accept cookies every dang time. Yeah. Theosu.ca. No, you don't. <laughs> We're not even GDPR. Maybe, maybe uh, <laughs> compliant. Maybe a... Uh, Matt, just kidding we are maybe there could be a setting on, on a device that automatically accepts those cookies so you don't have to probably do is a widget in google chrome if you want to switch browsers there this probably seems like the same kind of situation where chris left apple music because he didn't know how to clear his playlist and every time he would play a song it would ask him if he wanted to clear and he just kept saying no <laughs> and he literally switched to spotify over it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, right. Cookie Yes is a free cookie cons- consent solution. Cookie consent? There you I'll go. buy you Cookie Consent for your for Christmas or when's your birthday? June. Cookie. June. Six more months. Cookie. I consent to cookies. Uh, Nate, do you have a bone to pick? Yeah, I got a bone to pick. Okay, it's with little children. Oh, <laughs> freaking piss me off. So <laughs> my six month old nephew. Oh, this yeah. So so I let my beard grow out for like two months. Yeah. And he, they go up to Canada for like two weeks and he like literally comes back and Teddy forgets what I look like. And so I have this beard on. And, and he had just woken and, up and from he, a nap. And he is, I and I and he woke up from a nap and I'm like all in his face like, hey buddy. And he started to lose his mind and he kept on looking back at me and, and then he would, and so like when I go in the house, he like avoids eye contact with me. Yeah, he's be- scared of be- him right because now. Because he's scared of me right now. So he hasn't I sh- seen you with your sh- no. shaved. So I, I trimmed yesterday just so for that today. my nephew would look at me. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you're taking care of them today for yeah, a bit, right? Yeah. And this happened, I mean, Isla, this is with Isla. This is with like, you know. I have it with some friends' kids too. Yeah. To scream at me. Yeah, they scream. I'm like, yeah. I'm so, a dad. Like, it's okay. Maybe yeah. you guys just aren't very likable. I, I don't, I I don't get what, that reaction. I think what it kids. is is these kids need to grow the F up. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the idea. Yeah. 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 Like, stop being such a little baby. Yeah. Yeah. I quite agree. literally. You know what I mean? And to parents who have these children, rough them up a little bit. Yeah. Throw them around. Yeah. Yeah. Have have a bearded man maybe befriend them. Yeah. The funny you part know, is I, I had a beard all Christmas. So you should have been ready for you. Well, <laughs> I think you startled so them. Mine was bigger and thicker. I think you startled them. Yeah, I do startle him. I, I just feel bad now because this, this has happened to me in other people's homes. I, like, co- I come into his house like Kramer. Slice crashes in. <laughs> yeah. 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 I I have I've never felt this way before where my kid didn't like someone. And but I've been unliked by children in other people's homes. Yeah. So now I know the feeling. It's like, oh damn, there's nothing I can do. I know yeah. it sucks, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You yeah. gotta work. That's you gotta my, work on them. That's yep. my beyond to pick. Yep. Yep. Is he too young to give him chocolate? Yes. Yeah, he is. Mm. Please Otherwise, don't feed them chocolate today. I'm not They're just getting over colds. Everett, which I'm not. I always look forward to Everett's. My bone to pick, um, my bone to pick is with catfish. Okay. Little, yeah. They, 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 you try to get them off the hook, they poke you? No. No, eating catfish. Mm. I Catfish is disgusting. I, I don't think people should eat it. They're bottom feeders, and it literally tastes like you're eating muddy river water when uh, you eat them. Hard okay, disagree hold on that. On. Hold, yeah, hard disagree. You get Thank farm-raised you catfish. They no, don't eat no, a, no, 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 no. Farm-raised no, catfish. Let's just, wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You hit a hot button here. I don't like freshwater fish. Okay, let me just like yeah. the fishy taste of them. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, they taste horrible, right? 
And catfish are the exception. I love Ca- catfish. Catfish are fatty, juicy. They're not bony. There's no bones. And they taste kind of like a grouper. They're good. Right? Okay. Well, well then, plug-in, plug-in. well then, well they then, my delicious. bone. Well then, at least my bone to pick is There's with no bones to pick. My 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 <laughs> bone to pick is at least with Puckett's catfish because that tasted like dirt. Okay, it was I'm, bad. I'm gonna say it. I love Puckett's, but not their catfish. Uh, did you get? Oh, sorry. Did you get it breaded or did you? Yeah. Get it? Yeah, I got it yeah, breaded. So, so that's why. It's it's actually because you don't know how to good? order it. No, you have to get catfish blackened. I just, uh, I that's just a southern can't. trick, I'm isn't gonna, it? I just, I, I can't imagine now that I tasted that that I'd want to try to taste it again because it just tasted like muddy river water, dude. And I'm like, yeah, this makes no, sense because that's what it, they are. It's their breading. Their breading sucks at puckets. I'm sorry to say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say mm-hmm. this is gonna make me very unpopular with you guys right now. Right. Puckets is overrated. I agree. Yeah, it is. I do agree. Their okay. food isn't. Their food isn't. Their this f- leads to my bone to pick. Their food isn't great. There's a. Go ahead. Sorry. Their, their, yeah. Their food isn't the best. Not, their food isn't the best southern food you can get. Like, like Bishop's is definitely Bishop's better. Bishop's is ten times better. But the vibe is good at Puckets. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is. Here's my bone to pick. Except that the musicians suck at Puckets. Oh, dude, I saw amazing before Christmas. They had like an All Star writers lineup thing. Mm-hmm. So I saw this. I saw. I saw these writers and this guy is playing all these songs. And he's like, yeah. So I wrote this one in '87, and uh, two months later, George Strait cut it, and then after that, Tim McGraw cut it. Wow. And he just kept on, like, he's written, like, 13 songs That's for George cool. Strait. Well, I've never had the pleasure because yeah. every time I go in there, there's some chick named Stacy, and she's, like, 48, and she's like, here's my songs. I just moved to Nashville. Yeah. Here's my songs about spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti. Spaghetti and butter. It's my favorite. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> This is right in tune with you guys. My bone to pick is with Americana Top House. Little do you know, I've never been. been. Little do you know, have you been? It's no. owned no. by yeah. Puckets. By Puckets. And when you go in there, oh, it's the mayhem. I, I want to is, love it. To find mayhem. They don't know how to seat you. They don't know where to seat you. Yeah. You don't even know where to go in. You don't know where to stand. Where's Americana Top House? The corner by. Um, it's just leaving Bridge and Main. Yeah, Bridge and I Main, think. leaving out towards. It's the same. Um, factory it's the yeah. same with the restaurant in leaper's fork right there they, it's a great place it's a great location the food's actually really good but they it's it's confusing when you get in there and they don't treat you very well okay yeah so so but so, puckets owns it okay so puckets is look it's uh, we take people there because it, I, one it's thing a, i like about an it experience. is it's 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 affordable it's an experience it's an experience it's affordable it's the franklin thing it's the franklin thing there's yeah. one downtown nashville but 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 yeah, you're right. Like the food just isn't. It doesn't get you. No. And, and Bishops is like if you want to go all the way there, Southern. Yeah, if you want to yeah. go all the way there, Southern, just go to Bishops, dude. And yeah, I would say call. that if somebody was coming to Franklin, I would take them to Puckets because Same. It's, it's like taking the yeah, but you yeah, see the Coliseum if they're in Rome, you know. Yeah, and Bishops doesn't feel as nice as Puckets when you get in the in the room. Oh, Bishops is all about the food. It's yeah. not about the hang. I know, but I kind of, I kind of like, I kind of love that vibe though. When you go to the barbecue place and it's just like it's a shack, it's a shed, yeah. you know, and they just and your drinks are in styrofoam cups and they give you styrofoam plates and like yeah. it's on a tray. You know, it's the like, food's yeah, gonna be that's good. That's barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Well, that was bones to pick. That was the episode. Um, tune into the post show. I've got some questions I'm gonna ask you guys, and we're gonna talk about this week in the world. Amazing. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do All it. Right. Welcome to the post show. <laughs>